How the fuck you guys doing? What up, everybody? Can you do a quick, uh, can I get some love, some cheers in the chat? For the weekend, I think the bot is broken. But I know how to fix that. Give me one second. some cheers real quick that should uh this should turn lights green anyways uh happy saturday guys uh, i hope everyone's having a nice weekend oh I, you know my, my, my weekend's going high it's, 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 a, it's a strange mix of a relaxing and stressful <laughs> Well, guys, let me know how the fight goes. I know, I know a lot of people are going to be watching that shit. Um, I, I, I'm really like, I, I, I don't know, man. Uh, all right, maybe I'm just a skeptic, but like, every time people get hyped for stuff like this, you, you remember how hype it was for like, I don't know, like the, the, the past like fucking like fucking uh, three or four big fights, uh, everyone was hyped. And they were, I, I remember them just being mad disappointing. Like, they weren't really exciting fights. So now I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. I just don't get excited for shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, you know, like getting really hyped for shit and then going into it, I feel like is always a big disappointment. And you guys remember Cyberpunk? But if you go into shit with no expectations, it's usually like not bad. Bro, I mean, people make like one, uh, they make like one, uh, people make like one, like throwaway accounts to stream stuff now. Yeah, those accounts will get banned, but like, you know, they'll just make another one. You know what else, uh, you know what else lasts like 30 seconds? What up, Hermit? How you doing? Uh, good to see you, Chili. Hope you're doing Genki. What up, Coffee? Yo, uh, guess, guess who's got almost enough gems to do another temple? Guess who's... Yeah, guess who's got it? I think uh, I think at the reset, you know, with the dailies tonight, with the with the dailies, and then like the uh, the new mystery box shit. I think I'll have just enough for one more ten tonight. What we're uh, probably what, what I'm making on, we're gonna hit nothing, and then uh, you know you know when the uh, when all the the fucking shit resets, the Stardust shit resets. Like so one day before the banner ends, that's the day we're, we're gonna hit. It's gonna be that day. That's the last day we were actually gonna hit. But today we gotta get the garbage pulls out of the way, though. You see, guys? You see how I just manage my expectations, and then you know we we might get surprised. I actually do want to pull for Shao. Shao is, uh, I remember the first time I saw that unit, I was like, ooh. I was like, ooh, th this, this is a waifu I do like. And then, uh, you know, it's, it's <laughs> But I was like, you know what, still, uh, still that's, a, that's a good looking unit. I want it. He's going to be water though, right? I already have Mona, so I don't, I don't know. Really? 
Really? What about jeans? You gonna disrespect Jean like that? You can call uh, Jean a healer when she's like putting down three, four K, like like per hit. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Jean, Jean puts out more DPS than fucking my, my Mona does. I don't think I'm playing Mona correctly though. Oh, I also don't have artifacts on uh, Mona. Maybe that's why. I see, I see we got the Genshin nerds in chat tonight. I definitely, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely uh, more into the game now. Like I was kind of into it before. I feel like I'm like intermediate it, like, into it now. I'm like one, uh, I'm like one waifu pull away from getting hardcore into it. You know, because if you have a full five-star team, then you gotta go for perfect artifacts. You know, and you're being suboptimal if you're not like completely, completely maxing everything out, maxing out the talents, doing all that. Uh, coffee, what do you mean the game is going to be too easy? That's, listen, did you not watch me play yesterday? I was saying like the game, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy looking at the enemies and looking at their swings and like dodging out of the way. I like switching to Kaching and mindlessly spamming left click. For me, that's fun gameplay. For some people, it's like... I'm gonna read the enemy movements and dodge out of the way. I don't wanna do that. I wanna spam left click and look at big numbers. Uh, it's not exactly pay to win. You can, okay, so without spending, you can beat everything in the game. Just the game is more fun when you have the really, really overpowered rare units. So you either gotta pay or you gotta get really lucky. And honestly, I've gotten pretty lucky so far. There's definitely people that are way more lucky than me, but there's players that are not nearly as lucky, so I'm just, uh, you know, counting my blessings there, I guess. Can we get some happy birthdays, some cheers in the chat? Yeah, you know, happy birthday, step bro. Serino. Ava, I've just got one question. What are you doing? Hey, yo, Ava, thank you so much. 
so much. How was your stream? What'd you guys get up to? Y'all much love. Smell nice to impress girls. Does that does that work? Respect. Social respect. Traveling that 13 month prime, you'll thank you very much. Let me see. Uh, this this is my favorite. This is my favorite col uh, smelling cologne that I've used before. Okay. I just I just looked it up and apparently Womo uh, translates to man, so that's the scent of man right there. I mean, I'm not wearing any of that right now. Right now, I kind of smell like a Crunchwrap Supreme. Because I, I literally just ate one before stream. Threw it in the air fryer, got it extra crispy. Uh, I wish I smelled like Chipotle. No, and I, I don't smell like Chipotle. I smell like a Crunchwrap Supreme. That's Taco Bell. What'd you get from India? Dude, I'm telling you, uh, I, my, my favorite thing is uh, that chickpea curry, the chana masala. Oh, fuck me up. are fixed today, so I can fuck around with them. Freezing food the other day. I feel like if you freeze curry and then reheat it, like that's uh, that, that does work pretty well. Social, did you just come up with Alex's nickname? Alcoholics? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Dude, Alex keeps wanting a nickname. So I call, uh. Because we got Tacky, I call Carib Carrots. And then, uh, Robert, I call, uh, I call him Egg Roll. And Maddie's Matilda. Alex is like, I want a cute nickname. It's like, Alex is already a cute nickname, bro. I 
because his name is Egg Robber. So I just shortened it to Egg Roll. Oh, you did? So, okay, Scooby was the inventor? Yo, Alcoholics is a good one, man. Although it, it, it kind of sounds like a fucking, like... It sounds like a b-boy name or some shit. Yo, Twisted with the 7-month prime. Yo, thank you so thank much. Yo, Panda, Panda thank you. Online. Glad you're digging it. I'm not doing much right now. We're, we're warming it up. Just saying what's up to everybody. Well, don't worry. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling tonight. It's something to do. It's, it's after installing lasers in this room, I feel more powerful. Good energy today. with the 14 months. Respect! Thank you so much. Yo, you guys, honestly, you guys are far too kind, man. Well, thank, thank you guys for, uh, thank you guys for chilling and listening and supporting the stream for so long. I'm just listen man, I'm just I'm just preparing my my, my brain for five years. Well thank you guys. Alright, I'll I'll try I'll try not to mention it next month. Leading up to it, you know, we'll we'll let it build a little. I'm just looking forward to it, you know? Hey, you guys remember when uh, everyone said we'd be back to having live events in like November last year? And then it was like, well, you know, around like March next year. I don't think it's really looking like March this year though. Yeah, what's well, good, Spitty? Yeah, true, true, true. I mean, I don't know. Definitely these are weird times, but I feel like, I don't know. At least for me, I'm getting through it. I mean, fuck it. You guys are still here. You guys are making it through, too. I mean, hopefully you guys are finding, like, you know, ways, uh, you know, to enjoy yourselves. Uh, you guys are, like, getting into routines that, you know, by now that you actually enjoy.
song, dude. My scratching is noob shit. Scratching is noob shit. Speedy, listen, like I promise you guys, if, if, okay, look, I actually promise this. If you're new to scratching and you actually do the 28 days of scratching challenge, okay, actually, not, not just not just recording the video, if you practice for one hour, one hour, if you practice for one hour every day in February, you can do all the scratches that I can do. Not just like, yeah, if you do one hour every day, you'll be able to do everything I can do. Well, that's why I'm gonna practice every day in February and get to the next level. Well, then all you gotta do is practice all throughout March and then you'll be caught up. And then you practice all throughout April and you'll be better. That's all it takes. Like actually. Cause I don't I don't actively practice scratching. It's just something that I do like on stream here and there, but you know, I don't really like when, when I do it on stream, I'm just kind of like solidifying muscle memory of stuff I already know how to do. Wait, so did you scratch without samples? Um, uh, if you guys want, like, I can I can upload my uh, junk rat uh, uh, scratch sample. So it's a bunch of junk rat uh, sound files and scratch noises. If people use like DVS and stuff, a siren sample. You can you can scratch with a siren sample. It just it's gonna sound different. So like you know like, you can scratch with a sound like this. Or you can scratch on like a vocal like this. You see? Oh, you have a super seal? Man, you got good shit then. Oh, you have the VPM Supreme shit? Wait, did you do that? Do you use it on like a on a controller? Scratching on the controller is so hard, man. Honestly, scratching on CDJs, uh, like it, it's easier than the controller because, just because it's bigger. But um, like an actual vinyl with like the with, with like the feedback and like the platter pulling on your hand, that makes it that makes it so much easier. I have those. I have those too. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll bust one out. Class for what? Speaking of 320, yo, Spitty, I, I I don't know what is going on with my uh, files. I found like a hundred files on like off my USB that are all 96. I don't know why they're fucking randomly 96s, but like I, that's triggering the shit out of me. But anyways, like I said, I'm gonna, I just, I, I gotta fucking fix all those files and I'll, I'll put like a free download zip. Yeah, I'll put a free download, okay, so I'll put a free download for all my music that I uploaded with fucked up formats for some reason, just in one zip. And also I'll, I'll, inclu I'll include the junk rat sound samples, uh, scratch samples. So if you wanna scratch with that. No, 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 it, it, dude, it, honestly, it's good, it's good. Beginner 
classes. The thing is, like, scratching, I'm not a good uh, teacher. I'm not even good at scratching, not, not even remotely. Like, if you if you watch YouTube tutorials, you will learn faster from YouTube than, than I could possibly explain it. Honestly, the same thing with DJing. Like, you'll learn how to DJ faster if you just watch YouTube videos than, like, you try to learn from me. So that's why I don't feel, like, in good conscience, I can't, like, charge people money for lessons that I know that they can get for free. Kind of like, uh, part of my philosophy is like, I don't like to help people that don't want to help themselves. So if you just like, you know, if you just want to throw money at me, like that's cool, but like, you know. I mean, the thing is like, I, I will get very frustrated with someone who just wants me to give them all the answers, you know? It's like, you gotta be like, I, I, I do better with people that like are learning on their own and then they ask for like, you know, tips or help. And then like, you know, I can kind of like try to help out. Because like I, I also think there's there's not like one way to do anything. You you can do things your way. You know there's not like the way that you have to DJ. You can DJ your way. But then you know if you're doing something and it's not really working out, you know I could like maybe give you uh, a suggestion from like something that I do that might help you. You know. Virtual DJ is great because it's free. And it's like very powerful. Uh, the tractor, okay, so I, I feel like for a lot of people that use controllers and laptops, tractor is a lot better than Serato. Serato is uh, undeniably, like, it, it, Serato is like the best at vinyl DVS in my opinion. Actually just DVS. So if you're using a DVS system, I, I think uh, Serato is superior. Just, just after using both, like because I, I, I use Tractor DVS and I've used Serato DVS, Serato feels so much smoother. Spitty, you can just use Serato. You just download it. You just download it. Oh, but if you want to do four, uh, if you want to do four mi uh, deck mixing, I think I think Tractor is a lot better for four deck mixing than Serato is. Serato is really nice for like just like because you get really smooth vinyl control. But like the layout with four decks, I think is shitty. That's just me personally though. Like Dead and DJ controllers, they're alright. How do you say that company? Is it, is it, listen, listen, I, I just don't know. Is it, is it X1 or is it Zone? How do you pronounce that shit? Listen, I just don't know, okay? Uh, 
okay, so out of the Denon controllers that I've used, there's some things that are just like really wonky about them. So like the build, okay, so like the last time I used the controllers, I think I used the Prime 4, and I'm guessing the Prime 2 is kind of similar. Um, the, what was it? There, there was something about like, okay, like everything felt, like the construction felt awesome. I think, yeah, the, the, uh, the platters felt really good. The, the crossfader felt really good. Oh, it, I think it was the platter, like, um, I, I don't know what it's called, like ratio. So the amount that you backspin the platter would send the track back a little bit too far. Maybe sensitivity. Um, using like the SC5000 or whatever, that felt really good. That, that felt really good. So the amount that you bring it back, like, it, it just, the control felt really nice. But I don't know, the controller felt like it was giving like too much torque to the track, I guess. So if you like, touch it, it like would shoot the track back. No, yeah, yeah. No, I used them back to back. So I, I used the Prime and the SC5000. Like they were like right next to each other. And like the, it's, you can tell the difference. Like it, it feels like they didn't quite calibrate like the, I don't know, like the MIDI signal or some shit. I mean, that's, that's like all programmable, I guess, like, you know, with the firmware. The firmware flash would fix that or some shit like that. So it's fixable. So just, uh, that, that was my, that was my uh, initial take on it. Um, other than that, the interface was really shit. <laughs> Maybe because I'm used to like other interfaces, but like I just found the interface to be unnecessarily confusing and just shit was all over the place. It was really cluttered and uh, just annoying to use. If they just, if Denon just bit the bullet and uh, added compatibility with Pioneer shit, so if like your stuff is formatted for Rekordbox and you plug it in uh, to their shit and it just works, um, honestly at that point I would swap out all my shit for uh, Denon CDJs if I could just keep using Rekordbox, but uh, yeah, I don't really like their uh, software interface all that shit. I would guess if I just got used to it, uh, you know, it'd be nice. DJ, uh, I don't... Oh, the Denon mixer? I don't like it. I, do, I, I love the Nexus mixer. All this stuff, all this stuff is kind of like, it comes down to preference. A, a, a lot of this comes down to preference. I think like if you have a chance, just hit a big like a big music store and just try this shit out. I, I kind of do that. Sometimes when I'm like in a different city or some shit, I'll, I'll, I'll just randomly check if there's like a big guitar center or like a DJ store somewhere like in the area of where I'm staying. And if, even if I'm bored, I'll just go check it out for a few hours. And that's that's usually when I just like jump on a bunch of gear that's like different, like the Denon controllers, like the Denon mixers, like the Denon shit, and like, you know, fuck around with other stuff and kind of formulate if I like it or not. Uh, that's the best way to figure it out, just try it out. You know what I really don't like? What are what are those mixers with the uh, fucking... I think maybe it is the zone mixers. But like, see, like, so the filter knob on a lot of things, they're high pass, low pass combo. So if you turn it to the right and to the, and to the left, those mixers make you change the mode and then it goes like 0 to 100. And like that is the most annoying way to use a fucking filter in my opinion. So I, I hate that mixer. I really, really hate that mixer. But it's a preference thing. I could totally see, you know, you got a bunch of synthesizers plugged in, you got you're not doing high pass, low pass shit back and forth. You want like that fine control and that that makes sense. But like for the way I DJ, like that that does not make sense to be on a mixer. Dude, at the end of the day, try both of them out. Like you you have to try them out and see which one you prefer.
That's why like I don't really uh, I don't really recommend just going straight for gear for like beginners because you don't know what you're doing. Like you know you're you're on one, you're on the other. You're like, "Oh, this feels better." But you don't know. You don't even know how to DJ. How do you know what feels better? without headphones so headphones are for beat matching right okay so what you're doing in headphones like this has become like tutorial tutorial Saturday welcome welcome to tutorial Saturdays with your host all right so what you're doing in the headphones when you're first starting to like to learn how to DJ you're, what you're doing in the headphones is your beat matching or your your te yeah basically it's, it's for beat matching or it's for like checking if something's gonna sound good So like, what are you doing, wreck dropping that gifts up. So literally, what you're doing in the headphones is uh, it's uh, it's this. You're doing this. See how this is offbeat? And then you you correct it. And then you try again. See, it's slow, so you speed it up. It's still slow, so you speed it up. See, see how it's off, it's offbeat, and I keep correcting it. Keep, uh, it's offbeat and I keep correcting it until it's on beat and it sounds like shit as I'm doing that. That's what you're doing in the headphones. But it, like the reason that you use headphones is because you don't want people to hear that. But the thing, if you're not performing for anyone, you can just do it on the speakers because no one's listening because you're in your bedroom. What is Band Lab? No, you don't have to give me money. I'll answer questions. I don't mind. I really don't mind answering questions. It's not good. I just, I just wasn't expecting questions. That's all. Or like you use headphones to check if a song is gonna sound good together. Like if you're trying to do a set of a mashup or something. But that's what headphones are for. They're they're for checking in a, if a mix is gonna sound good before you mix it in. Yeah, you don't have to use them. Like if you're practicing and learning in your bedroom, like I said, no one's listening, so you have nothing to hide. You, you can just do your shit. Like do, do the shitty mixes over the speakers. Because you know. Otherwise, like, it's just you listen. It's you listening to a fucked up mix in your headphones versus you listening to a fucked up mix over the speakers. It's the same shit. Roheim, with that two month prime. Yo, cheers, bud. Thank you very much.
guys got anything else for me? A chirp? Why don't you suck your own dick? It's literally not a question. You practice for 30 minutes and you can't do it? I mean, that's how you start. You gotta do 30 minutes a day. You do 30 minutes a day for like months. Chirps are hard, man. Like, you'll get a basic chirp, but like, if you want like those like fucking DMC chirps, you gotta do it for years. Like, listen, this isn't, this isn't targeted at you, Spitty. I just think like, I think, I don't know. Is like skill building like a loss like thing? Like, I feel like, we live in like a weird age where like if people don't like get something like within like, uh, like ten minutes they just give up because it's like not worth it. I mean I don't know. I, I don't know. It's it, what you want to do with your time is like it's all good, but like I I don't know. I, I think people give up too easily. Okay, so yeah, you know, you know, you know. Yeah, man. I mean like when you start getting more advanced at guitars, there's so much practice. I don't know. It's probably not your attention span. It's probably it's like I think a lot of it comes down to how bad you want something. Don't you know? Like I, dude, I, I can't chirp for shit. I used to practice this shit a lot, like <laughs> in my dorm room, but like I can't do it. It's like I, I suck. Don't you know? Fuck chirps. I mean, like, yeah, the thing is, when I know how to, when I know how to crab and transform, it's, it's hard for me to sit there and keep chirping because I'm like, fuck this shit. Definitely in February, I'll have I'll have a whole day dedicated to uh, doing chirps. See, Booby, what's going on? Stoner with the T221 months. Thank you very much, dude. What's up, Hazard? What's going on? Yeah, I mean, like a, a lot of it is like you gotta learn the muscle memory. You gotta, you gotta like just you gotta fuck around with it. And, like you gotta you gotta learn the movement. And that's one of those things like no one can, like people can explain that like what it's supposed to sound like, what it's supposed to look like, but like you're not gonna really learn like what it feels like to do the move until you you know just practice and learn it. Yo, majestic, so is mine. It just, it just takes practice. I think the most important thing though, at least for me, is like. Like, I don't know, this, the way I move in general is just like really awkward, so it's like, I have to really pay attention to how, what I'm doing and how I'm moving, and like, as soon as I notice any like, bad habits, like, I have to like, keep focusing on not doing that.
was good, Iris. Wait, who else had soju for tonight? I know someone else did too. What is soju? This motherfucker serious right now? don't even know. It's like the popular Korean uh, drink of choice. sake like to me sake tastes like kind of like perfumey soju tastes like watered down cheap uh, vodka but it's watered down so it doesn't taste that shitty oh it was a good fight damn What ethnicity am I? All right, you get to guess. You get to guess, okay? Every time you guess wrong, you gotta take a shot. like cough syrup was it mixed with something like cough syrup just guess that i'm black no Oh, did you get it mixed with that like fucking berry shit? There, there's like there's like this one uh, like like they mix soju with different shit. And one of them is like this concentrated like fucking uh, berry juice. It's kind of like pomegranate. It's like fucking very tart. I, don't know, I think that should taste good, but like, you know, why would you get fucking cherry soju? That sounds terrible. Cherry flavored anything is not the move, dude. You were out with the group and someone decided to order a cherry alcohol. You should have slapped them in the face right there. At the spot with like some friends, and like someone's like, Ooh, I'll order. Like, All right, go ahead. Okay, we'll have one uh, yogurt soju, and we'll have one uh, a cherry soju. You take the menu, and you're like, Shut the fuck up, Lindsay. No, cancel that cherry, please. Lindsay, go home. You're fired. my laundry's not, if my soju shirt's fresh. I, I, I'm gonna go change now. My wardrobe change. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you gotta take away ordering rice from people that don't have taste buds. Nah, she's not a Karen. She's innocent. She just she just doesn't know. She thinks that she wants a cough, uh, you know, a cherry because Lindsay's never had uh, cherry cough syrup when she was a kid. She doesn't know that it's absolutely disgusting. And you know, like, she's not going to say that it's disgusting because she's trying to leave a nice review for the restaurant because she's trying to get Yelp Elite. Oh, you guys remember Yelp Elite? <laughs> That's not a thing anymore, is it? People don't go out to places anymore, huh? It's rough. I wish I had mac and cheese. Hang on, I, I, I gotta check something really quick, guys. Side ballers? I don't know what the fuck you're saying.
we have a lot of gamblers in the chat. I guess it's just natural with uh, the amount of Genshin players. Is the PP bot working today? so much man hope you had a good stream what up what up good to see you bro respect dropping the seven months damn dude thank you very much i appreciate that bro you gotta work guys definitely uh, check out the homie cgk Find a fantastic DJ. They search for a gimmick. Shortcuts to success. Ain't no handouts. You gotta put the time in. You gotta fall in love with the crime. What they don't know. What's most important. I don't gamble because I'm bad at it. You gotta work, 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 work. I just pull on my Genshin banners and I get angry. Get that again, you? I have this philosophy that, uh, or this theory that the game is only fun if you got five stars. Like, I was heavy addicted because I pulled Venti, like, the, like the early on in the game. Got out of the game, hit two five stars last week, and now I'm re addicted. You gotta work. 
Nah, 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 listen. The, the, uh, story of that game, okay, honest review. Story fucking blows. The story is almost worse than Sword Art Online. Fucking. The multiplayer, like the actual gameplay, is pretty buggy. It's pretty laggy, pretty buggy. But, you know, getting rare waifus that other people don't have. And just spamming, like, overpowered combos. That's what it's all about. Yo, again, uh, CGK and the homies coming in with the host. Yo, much love. Bring you some cheers really quick. Much love. Hope everyone's having a, a nice evening so far. Getting a little bit darker. Turn on the lasers. The lasers. Yeah, the game's kind of about flexing, for real. Like, uh, like, wow, like, I remember like, those days where I was like truly addicted. I, I kind of miss it, but like, I also don't have time for that shit, so it's like, it's, it's good that I'm not.
good. That's being like, that's like saying like, yeah, I, I never really got into doing crack because I, I knew it would be bad for me and I get addicted. Good choice. drug dealer friends. I would not be responsible. 